This book broke my heart and I don't think that's fair. Hello friends this is Meenu welcome back to my channel Story Tale so I finally completed Ember in the Ashes series by Sabha Tahir today I'm going to talk about the final storm in the series A Sky Beyond the Storm this is the finale that I needed and this is the finale that broke my heart because this book was just something else I did not expect so many things that happened in this book there are so many heartbreaking scenes there are so many good scenes there are so many scenes that I loved there so many scenes that I hated and I just think this book was perfect because even after it has been Three or four days since I've read this book, I still remember it. Still has this mark upon me. So I think that is what a good and brilliant book does to you, and that is what I love about this book. Because after so many days, I still remember it. I still feel the same way, and I still think that this was a perfect book. Like I said, there are so many things that happen in this book, and I don't think I'll be able to chronologically tell you what happens and what happens. Next after that I'm going to tell you how much I can remember how much I can recall I know it has been only 3 or 4 days since I've completed this book but there's so much that happened in this book that of course I cannot remember all of this so if you want to know what happens please read this book and please read this series I highly recommend it of course this is going to be a spoiler filled review because that is what I have been doing for the last two books only the first book was spoiler free I'm going to give the link of all three videos in the description down below you can check them out so without wasting any more time let's get into the video I've said this thing so many times and i'm going to say it again of course this book starts with the last one and in the last book we have seen helene and leia become uh, friends sort of and in this book it has been continued i really like the part that it started with their friendship and i love their friendship i think they bonded very well together in the last few books they were not that much compatible with each other both of them kind of hated each other in a different way not in an enemy way but still as a rival way and in this book we have seen their friendship and i think it was very beautifully written what i didn't like about leia in the second and the third book was that she was not fighting hard enough for elias she just uh, seems to give up on him and that was rectified in this book she was fighting way too much for him and i really like that especially there's a scene like a seduction scene with a mango involved in it and i think that was a very nice scene i guess i'm not going to say that was a very sexy scene it was just a nice scene to watch i think people have been raving about this scene and i wanted to read this scene and i think it was a pretty nice scene i'm not going to say that was a very sensual kind of scene but i still like it i it kind of reminded me of katrina cash ad of slice bottle the same way the seduction work i guess that is how it seems to me i don't know many people do not know about that scene but still i think that is somehow what reminded me of it i don't know Anyway I love the fact that she did not give up on Elia she kept on fighting for him she kept on trying to seduce him even though it was really hard for him and finally finally it happened finally Leia and Elia got together I know I'm not talking about chronologically here because it happens much later in the book much much later but still it happened and I'm really happy for it I'm not going to say that I was a big Elias and Leia's fan I mean not their chemistry i do not ship them too much i ship helen and harper more and i do not want to get into that because i just cannot get into that right now but both of them i did not ship them very much but still i really loved all the scenes that they had together in this book and i loved that final ending and i loved the finally got together in that cabin and i just loved that scene i think it was just beautiful like i said my favorite couple is helene and harper and the same thing happened to them and i was waiting for it i was just screaming at helene to say something it took her so long and the build up was so good that i loved every scene of it and i just love what happens in the end finally and finally Helene and Harper got together and that scene in the pool was like everything i ever wanted i loved that scene i loved everything about it it was so steamy and so sensual i mean that was the most steamy scene in this whole book i don't care about leia and elia scene that was okay for me but this scene was everything i wanted and everything i got until it was taken away from me I just cannot talk about that I cannot I just cannot like I said there are so many unexpected things happen in this book that I do not know what to feel I'm kind of happy for certain characters I'm happy for certain things that happen in this book and I'm also heartbroken for there's so many deaths in this book that it just broke me there's so many deaths that I didn't want to happen and it did happen first started with Ferris I liked him I liked his character I was kind of hoping he ends up with Livia but that did not happen and he sacrificed himself for helene so ferris's death was something that i expected kind of i mean i know i wanted him to end up with livia but 
I kind of expected his death. He was second or third in command of Helen, so I thought he was gonna die in at some point or another. And he died. I just felt bad for him. But there was another death that I did not see coming. It was so unexpected, and it was the death of Livia, Helen's sister. I mean, she was the last living. a family of her except for her nephew and i think that was a very brutal scene that should not have happened and just came out of nowhere livia was killed in front of her son and helene and that was just a very heartbreaking scene to watch it just came out of nowhere out of nowhere commandant came and just killed her like that it happened in a second and just broke everything in me i do not know i just didn't want her to die because i wanted her to end up happily because she endured so much in this book especially after harper and Helene hooked up she was so happy and i wanted to see more of their chemistry more of their sister love and that happened it just broke my heart and like like i said there's so much heartbreaking in this book that i just cannot deal with it another unexpected thing happens with leia she has this kind of entity living inside of her which she did not have any idea about because she can hear some voices in her head and she was not sure where that was coming for so we realize along with leia that there's a powerful entity living inside of her whose name is rehmat we find out later in the book that rehmat is actually nightbringer's wife whom we have read about a little in the third book and in the starting of the fourth book it was kind of a shock that coming out like that and i like the concept i think that was really brilliant rehmat being his wife and everything just coming around in a circle i really like that i kind of figured that she's going to be the end of him because she's the only one who can find him and rehmat does mean mercy i mean i didn't have to wait till the end of the book to figure that word out i knew the meaning of rehmat and by rehmat we mean mercy only and uh, with that came full circle in the end because she was the one who was able to bind nightbringer when he was going full berserk on everything and on every person in this world so that tied up very well together i think that was done brilliantly there was this one scene that was brilliant too and i do not know if that was done intentionally or that was thought of previously or i do not know when leia was trying to figure out about nightbringer and his past and she needed to hear a story from mami rila she needed a book to kind of nudge her into telling the story so in that scene darin tells her what about the book that i gave you so she was kind of shocked about what book and before that it was said in the book that to know about nightbringer you have to go to the beginning and i didn't know to whom it was referred i think it was referred to us because if you pick up ember in the ashes the first book in the series in the beginning of the book you'll see that leia is reading a book until darin comes to find her and that i think was brilliant and that was the book that darin was talking about and that was the book of jin and it was also referred in the first page that it was a book of jin and i think that was just brilliant i do not know if she thought of this years ago or that was something that she came up with now i do not know but i think that was just brilliant finally when everything was set in place all the motivations were gathered every weapon was collected we go into this war which was of course not unexpected we were expecting this war for a very long time and we wanted to see it we knew it's going to happen but the things that happened in this war was not something that you expected it was just mind blowing and it was just heartbreaking the first unexpected thing that happened in the battle was that darin died nightbringer killed him right in front of leia and i think that scene just came out of nowhere i did not expect that i did not kind of expect darin to die that way i mean leia worked so hard to help him and rescue him in the first and the second book and him dying like that in front of her eyes i think that was just brutal sabatahi did not take it easy on these characters she did so many things in this book and she was just plain cruel i'm just going to say it she was just plain cruel in this book he died she gets angry she kills nightbringer and he just burst into this sea of suffering we find out that it was always the intention of nightbringer for leia to kill him and so that he can become this storm kind of thing the sea of suffering that was actually bound inside of him and after he dies only then it can be unleashed into the world and that was his motive all along that is why he killed darin right in front of him because he needed some kind of motivation for leia to kill him on one side leia was killing nightbringer on the other elias was trying to talk to the jin so that the war can be stopped and on the third side helene and commandant was in a battle they both were fighting each other and of course keris was kind of much better fighter than helene also the dirtier so she was of course having a upper hand and then harper interferes and that is what gets him killed so harper finally dies 
at the first i could not believe it i mean i just thought it was kind of a gimmick so he's just gonna wake up any second and they're gonna live happily ever after i just thought that so i kept on reading i did not let any emotion get inside of me because i still could not believe that harper can actually die i did not think that saba would actually do that to helene because she has been through so much i know every character has been through much but we have seen helene struggle way too much in this whole series so i sympathize with her so much so i did not think that saba will do this to her i mean i want helene to be happy forever and i did not think that saba would actually do that to her but she did and when that realization hit me it just hit me too hard i cried all the time that i read about harper in the last few pages of this book because it was so heartbreaking i loved him i loved his character especially there's a scene in this book where he takes helene to this underground tunnel where which is his safe place kind of where he goes to scream where he's just angry and he just goes to scream and he takes helene with him and he asks to give it all of her to just scream and let it all out and i just love that scene and there's so many scenes that i love about him and him dying like that i just could not believe it i it was just so heartbreaking and i i don't think i'm ever going to pick up this book again because him dying like that i just cannot comprehend i don't know i don't want to read that again i'm just done with this book and done with this series i just it was just not fair killing him like that i do not know what was the purpose of it i just don't care i just don't like that he was killed that way so after harper was killed by kerish she wanted to kill helene too but then the big reveal happened and mera of sera who we thought was dead in the third book actually came out of nowhere and she attacked kerish and that is how kerish died i do not think that was a much uh, you know satisfying scene to watch because i wanted kerish to die in much brutal way because she killed my favorite character she killed almost everybody in this book and i just hate her and i wanted her death to be more brutal she, i wanted her to die screaming and that is just the cruel person inside of me saying but anyway so we get this big reveal which i do not know that was not a big deal for me i mean she did not die that is okay i'm not going to say that is something that makes me happy or something but that was i think an okay reveal for me but what meera eventually does in the book does make sense to this big reveal because she needed to be there she needed to release elias from being soul catcher anymore she's going to take his place and become the new soul catcher and of course rules a little bit changed for her because she is not actually dead she is alive and she is choosing it to become soul catcher so rules are going to be little bit different for her she does not have to forget everything and everyone she can remember her daughter she can remember everything and i think that was a good scene i mean that was the whole purpose of her and i think that tied up very well together so i think that is justified her big reveal so after leia finally found her way to reach out to nightbringer and she binds rehmat with nightbringer so the sea of suffering can finally end we get to this happy ending which we kind of all expected leia and elias gets together Leia's mother becomes soul catcher. Helen is now the empress who has now taken sworn to never get married and never have any children. So I do not know how her chemistry with Musa is going to work because in the last scene we see a little bit of chemistry between Musa and Helene and I do not mind that. I do not hate this. Of course I wanted her to end up with Harper but we did not get that. Thank you Sabah Tahir. But other than that, we got a little bit chemistry with Musa, and Musa too has dealt with life. His wife Nicola was killed again by Keres, and he too knows the same sorrow that Helene goes through. I mean, not that level, but still. And I think both of them will work as a great companion. I really like Musa in this book. I think he was a very funny character, and I really liked his character in this book. So I think I'm okay with their chemistry. All of my favorite characters ended up at the places they wanted to be, except for Harper. I really didn't want him to die, and he died. His death is gonna sting me forever. But other than that, I think it was a very great ending to every character. I think it was tied very well together. It was. the great fin- finale i was not disappointed with this book at all i think it lived up to my expectation it was everything i wanted and it was everything i got so on the basis of this i'm going to give this book 5 star which is the first in the series i have given 4 and 1/2 stars to all the three previous books but this book deserve 5 star because it was such an amazing ending so my final thought on this whole series is that i love this i love this whole series i love the whole experience i love the whole journey that i went into with the characters and everything it was 
of course my favorite fantasy series till now because i have not read many fantasy series i'm going to read many in the next year but until now i have not read many fantasy series and this is by far my favorite because i loved everything about it that is why my overall rating of this series is 4 and 1/2 stars because that is how average is going to come and i just love this series and i love everything about it so if you love this book and this series as much as i did do not forget to leave in the comments down below because i would love to know your thoughts and of course do not forget to subscribe and click that bell icon if you want to get notified of my future videos until then be happy and enjoy your holidays